Kobo Toolbox is a free, open source software used for digital data collection, analysis, and management. It is used by thousands of humanitarians, development professionals, researchers, and private companies to design and implement primary data collection projects worldwide. Kobo Collect is an open source Android app for collecting survey data based on the open source ODK Collect app. To use Kobo Collect, create a free Kobo Toolbox account on their website and create a blank form for data entry. The app is easy to use and user-friendly, even for non-tech savvy users. Kobo Toolbox is a data collection tool designed for challenging settings, making high-quality data accessible to social impact organizations worldwide. Kobo Toolbox offers free tools for nonprofit users and advanced services for large organizations. Kobo Collect is an Android data collection app based on the open source ODK Collect app, designed for primary data collection in challenging field environments, particularly in humanitarian emergencies. It allows easy data entry from interviews and other primary data sources with no limits on saved forms or submissions. To use, create a free Kobo Toolbox account and create a blank form. Kobo Collect is a fork of ODK Collect with a user-friendly interface. There are three ways to access Kobo Toolbox. Public servers, private servers, install Kobo Toolbox on your own server. Global Kobo Toolbox server is used by the majority of our users. Click create an account on the server of your choice. On the create an account page, enter the details on the form and click create account Kobo Toolbox will send you an email with a link to activate your account. If you did not get the activation email, check your spam folder. For more help, you can also read the support article didn't receive activation link after signing up. Sign into the email address you used when creating your account and click the activation link sent to you. This will automatically sign you. To create a new form, click the new button in the projects tab, the first screen after logging in to Kobo Toolbox. You will be presented with four different options for creating your new form. One, build from scratch. Choose this option if you want to build your form using the form builder. After selecting this option, you will be required to input the project details, then click create project. Two, use a template. Use this option if you already have a template in your library and would like to build upon it using the form builder or deploy it. Three, upload an XLS form import an existing XLS form. Four, import an XLS form via URL. Use this option to import an XLS form file that is being hosted online, for example, Google Sheets or Dropbox. Create your first form in Kobo Toolbox. Kobo Collect offers various question types for data collection, including integer, decimal, range, text, select one, select multiple, select one from file, Rank, note, geopoint, date, time, date time, image, audio, background audio, video, file, barcode, calculate, acknowledge, hidden, and XML external. These types provide tools for designing forms, collecting data on mobile devices, and managing and analyzing collected data efficiently within Kobo Collect. They also allow for input from various file types such as barcodes or QR codes. The platform also provides a hidden field for constant storage and XML external references for external data files. One, create your first form by clicking on new, then choose a source for your project and input project details. Two, click on the plus button to add your first question and choose a response type. Three, you can also delete, duplicate, and or add questions to your library. Four, to add more details to a question, click on a question settings. For example, you can add skip logic to a question. Five, click preview form to quickly view your questions and test skip logic. Six, to save the form, click the save button, then X to close the form. Seven, to start collecting data, you need to first deploy your draft form as a new data collection project. Eight, you're ready to collect data. You can enter data in the browser on any device. Here is how you can get started creating Excel with forms. The first step is to set up a Microsoft Excel file. Create an Excel workbook. Now create three worksheets 
And we're going to label this survey choices and settings. Now in the survey worksheet, we're going to label the first three columns as type, name, and label. In the choices worksheet, we're going to label the first three columns as list underscore name, name, and label. And finally, in the settings worksheet, the first column is just going to be form underscore title. Next, let's add our questions. So in the survey worksheet, our first question is going to be, what is your name? Our question requires that users type names in the form of text. So in the type column, we're going to say text. This is our question type. Under name, I'll just say your name. This is the variable name that uniquely identifies the question in the form. Under label, we will type the whole question the way that it's going to be shown on the form. So what is your name? Our second question is sex, and we have options male and female. In the type column, we'll type select underscore one, a space, and then sex. Here, select underscore one is the question type that allows us to specify a list of options, and the user can only pick one from the options. The word sex here is the name of the list, which will contain the options. In the name column, let's just say sex. In the label, we're just going to say sex. Let's add one more question. How old are you? The type for this will be integer. That's a question type that allows whole numbers only. The name will be age, and the label will be how old are you? Now we switch to the choices sheet to add the choices for the sex question. First, we put the name of the list, and remember, we called the list sex. The first item will be male, so the name here will just be male. The label will also just be male. That's the text that will be shown for this choice on the form. Next, we will type the very same list name, sex. The name of the second option is female, and the label will also be female. In the settings sheet, Let's add the form title. I'm just going to call it practice form. It will be very helpful for us to be able to preview the form. So in Cobo Toolbox, I'll click new and then choose upload an XOS form. And then we'll click here. This is the form. So I'll select it and click open. Now on this screen, I'll say create project. And now our project has been created, I can preview this form by clicking this preview icon. If you were developing a form using the form builder and you'd like to download it as an XLS form, all you have to do is move your mouse over the form like this, then click on the more actions button and select download XLS. And now you have the form, we can click it to open it with Microsoft Excel. We have made some changes to the XLS form, so we have to replace it. To replace it, I'll move my cursor over the project and then click on the More Actions button, then click Replace Form. Here I'll choose Upload an XLS form and click this button. This is the form that I downloaded and changed. I'll select it and click open and wait for it to upload. Now I can go ahead and preview the changes. Collection can be done offline using Kobo Collect and Web Forms. Data is stored on the device first and the server synchronizes the data even with poor internet connection quality. Web Forms uses the browser's HTML5 offline storage to store survey responses and the form itself. 
If internet access is not available, survey data can be transferred from Kobo Collect through an external tool or by connecting mobile devices to a local computer. Setting up the server connection The first step after installing Kobo Collect on your device is to set up the server URL, username, and password, which connects your Kobo Collect app to the Kobo Toolbox server. This allows you to download deployed forms from Kobo Toolbox to your mobile device and also send data collected through the app back to the server. The server in Kobo Collect can be configured in two different ways, manually or through a QR code. Setting up the server connection manually. Open Kobo Collect. Select manually enter project details. You will now be asked to input the URL, username, and password, and then select add after setting up the server. You should now see the following home screen. You can use Kobo Collect to get blank forms to your device, collect data, fill blank forms, store it in your device, edit the filled in forms, edit saved forms, submit saved forms, and delete filled in forms, blank forms. Enketo web forms are used by Kobo Toolbox to preview your forms and to enter data directly on your computer. You can also use web forms for collecting data on your mobile devices, even if you're offline at the time of data collection. Open to open the survey form to a new tab in your browser. Once the form is opened, you should see a screen like the one shown. Follow the steps outlined below to save a form and collect data in a web form using AA Mobile Device Connect your device to the internet. Open a web browser available, Chrome preferred, on your mobile device. Type or paste the URL of your web form to open a form page that resembles the one shown below. Click the three dots icon at the top right, circled in the image above, and select a DD to home screen to create a shortcut to your device. A window will appear to type a name for your project shortcut. Name the shortcut and then press ADD. You will now see a Kobo Toolbox web form shortcut icon on your device, similar to the what is shown below. Select the shortcut icon to start collecting data for your survey project. Forwarding upon submission by default, the form refreshes for the next entry once the data has been submitted. If users are only supposed to enter one entry, you can send them to another website upon submission. The project summary tab displays high level project information including project metadata, submissions, form details, quick links, data, and team members. It varies based on project owner or user permissions, and includes a graph of submissions, form details, quick links, and data. Kobo Toolbox allows users to download collected data in various formats and customize export settings. To export data, navigate to Data, Downloads, choose your export settings, Click Export, and then click Download. Export types include XLS, Microsoft Excel file, CSV, comma-separated values file, GeoJSON format, SPSS, GPS coordinates, KML, media attachments, ZPL, XLS, and CSV. The value and header format can be selected for non-legacy export formats, such as labels, default, XML values and headers, or labels in any of the defined languages set within the form. We'd like to extend our sincerest thanks for joining us on this journey through Kobo Toolbox. We hope you found the information valuable and that it will empower you to make a positive impact in your field. If you have any further questions or need assistance, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. Happy data collecting!